underway with it. Let us see where we go. Where we go from here. What's happening? What's happening? Let's see. Let's see what units we got. We'll get the camera off. I get my pretty face out of the way. Because it's not very pretty today. And uh, it's definitely, definitely not pretty today. I don't even do my hair for this. <laughs> Right, let's see what we got unit wise and comp wise. We're going to have a look. Dum -dum. No, so we've got some sharp. We've got sharp swords, pole axes, one dual blade, one pike, and then malls. Plenty of malls uh, on the attack. Plenty of malls on the defense as well. There's three three malls on the defense. A couple of short swords there. You've got a couple of pole axes and actually a longbow, a short bow, and then loads of pikes. They do like their pikes. Cav wise, is there calf? Uh, he can't be an argument, but still suck. <laughs> so plenty of reapers, Siladars, Modal, Zykila militia. Interesting strategy here from the the NA boys. Lots of like chargeable units. Um. But also at the same time, they've got lots of Iron Reapers for charging, but they don't have any of the Banner Guards. Like, the Banner Guards, surely you want that for that extra charge off them, no? Would you not want it? I, I, I would assume you'd want that now, to be honest. But in my head, that's what I'd be doing. There's no Banner Guard for that. We're going to close the predictions, okay, guys. Let's get the predictions in. Before this is underway, we want to get your predictions in. Well, I want Pongard to win, but bet on Slavs. Either way, I win. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You want the big bucks. You want to win. You want, You like the gamble. You love the gamble. You want to see what happens from there. You definitely want the difference. So, they will have to double check, first of all, that nobody is wearing runes. If they are, we reset. If not, we get underway and we see where we go from here. There's no strategy here to take down these siege towers because it is all Iron Reapers. There ain't no jabs. There's no nothing like that that's going to slow down these siege towers in the defensive side of things. And then when we look to the runes, nobody has runes. They are all well and truly versed and understand how the game works. Well done, Joy. Well done, boys. We can trust it. We can trust it. So, any boys, take to the all the artillery that's up on the wall as things start to get taken out obviously siege towers is the first things to try and potentially push to the wall the heroes might try and distract and use their units and uh, their he heroes to get up the the ladders as a quick quicker method to take out the artillery but really for the most part miss fuji yeah 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 yeah, yeah I, I was thinking that's what it was Yo, Mikash, Mikash, thank you for the follow, bro. Welcome to Clan. I appreciate it. But yeah, it's good to see. Good, I'll say it's good to see. <coughs> cool, Def. Thank you for the follow, bro. Welcome to Clan as well. Appreciate it. Let's see what we're at here. Where's where we are? Where we are? Let's see. Heroes starting to make their way up on the wall now. Here. Siege towers haven't been taken out, but the Hawatch is still going, so that's still trying to do some damage when it can. But for the most part, it's actually taking the guys on the... Uh, what are these things called? I always forget what this is called. That. They're taking that out anyway. Fuck that. I forgot what the name of it's called now. My brain's not even thinking. I've been out all weekend. I don't remember anything. It's just now... Well, we can't say the same thing about Silent. Never nice to see him. Taylor, thank you for the follow, honey. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the clan. We're almost at 4,000 followers, guys. Almost there. He's giving me them extra pushes here. We are closer and closer to that goal. 4,000 followers. Never thought I'd see 1,000. Never mind 4,000. This is crazy. Okay, top left siege tower and the center siege tower here has reached now. The far right one is going to be to take it as well. General combo on top of that one as that gets whittled into the way. Iron Reapers. Plenty, plenty, plenty of them from the any boys, but a lot of them going to the supply point here. Maybe to switch out their unit comp here to see if they're changing it up. Are they going to do that now? Is that what their goal is here at this point? A will get capped for free, as we expected. Um, but Iron Reapers are everywhere. Everywhere for now. Yo, Mercsters, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. I appreciate it. 
But yeah, they're just still setting up units. Modals are starting to get changed. Siladars are out. Palascars are out. You've got IPGs. You've got Fort Brasio, Greyhairs, and Palascars all coming in as well. So everything's changing up. We're definitely getting involved here, and everything's changing a little bit. Uh, the any boys, we're not going to be using a full set of Iron Reapers here to defend. So uh, I did think that seemed a bit strange, but it definitely is not that. They've definitely got their proper comp that they wanted to defend uh, this point with, and it'll be where they decide to fight is the question. It's where they decide to fight. I will turn that down a little bit because we don't want to distract it from the game. But Zimek, thank you for the coffin dance, buddy. Appreciate it. I think Max is probably the one that's over calling this or like shot calling this one as always um, from the NA side. Slavs, mm, I'm not sure actually. Is Van Blade the leader of this one? I think I think it's Van Blade that might be the one shot calling it. I'm not entirely sure, but Van Blade is always the one that tends to make the the lobbies and always the one in the the captain. So I assume he might be the shot caller. Maybe not though. That's just an assumption. You know, you just never know. Look at that glitch in the wall at the back there. So annoying. Looks like it's an, an invisible wall, but there's stairs inside it. So, now they start to make their way down. The Slavs are going to the very bottom of this stair here. And then the units of Iron Reapers are all surrounded, ready to charge in potential and deal damage. There's Javs doing a lot of work here. Hverson, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. But yeah, we're slowly, slowly going to start making their way down. They're using the arranged classes like the Javelin Sergeants and the Javs just to deal damage to all the units that might be protecting any of these positions. That's an interesting strategy from the Point Guard boys. Are they actually going to pretend that they're going outside here and then come up from behind them? Is that the plan? Is that... That would be... That would be something else. There's definitely plenty of Iron Reapers still out from the NA side. The mall's trying to get off and grab people but take them gets out of the way and... That has survived for a bit. The guys from Slavs now are going back up the stairwell that they're on. They see Watson. Blame is trying to chase Watson down. He is just a longbow. He does so much damage. He's such a good wee uh, longbow. He does so much work. Like, as a longbow, I have no idea how he manages it. And he survives for as long as he does. Because I find it almost impossible. But I'm not very good at the game, so it makes sense. But now Slavs have decided to come out and they're all going back outside. They're moving their units. A lot of them are up still, still up top here, still making it as if they're looking there. The any boys just kind of paying attention to where they're going, seeing their unit moves. There's changes of comps and stuff, and they might be moving to do a different strategy here. But so far, we've not had an, a proper engagement yet. Not had a proper engagement yet. So, so far, we just have to wait and see where it's going to happen and where we're going to get the fights happening. Because at this point in time, Slavs are just wet on time down. They're wasting their own time at this point. You've got eight minutes to grab B. You've got eight minutes. Eight, it's not easy, and it is it is it is capable, but you have to be quick. You have to be doing something. You have to have to give yourself time. We'll go around the back here just to see where the NA boys have got themselves stationed. There's lots of units in the supply point still as well. Grey hairs are in there. You've got the units all ready to move when they're requested. The NA boys are now going to have to start rotating down to that stairwell. The stairwell is now. Getting pushed right down to the very bottom. The grey hairs leading the way. ISGs as well. And now the ISG sets their units up. The Iron Reapers are going to try and come in from the back here. But a unit of IPG marching here. Doing some work. But half of the unit is actually marching up the stairs. The fight comes in from both the gate and the sides here. As Slavs start to kill some heroes. One for one here. And it fight on this side of the stairwell it looks like there's a lot more heroes in Slav's favour here but they're actually dying quicker B will be getting capped though that is a sneaky cap in the back there you've got General Combo taking the point for free well the fight goes on the any boys probably not paying attention to that they're picking off all the heroes and they have killed the heroes a lot quicker here we're down from 12 against 8 here unit wise there's only about 100 unit difference not even that 20 unit difference here at this point in time they're chasing the heroes around Gail Show goes chasing after general combo body fest and blame it's getting chased around as well gods of speed ASM tree is going to have to start chasing but B's still being capped pretty well here that's a good amount of chunk on B but not really much done in the grand scheme of the fights they lost a lot of heroes there almost double the amount of heroes almost double um, unit wise though there's not really much of a difference here. We've got 177 loss in that one. There was a lot dead here from that push, though. 413 units on the side of the attackers have, have lost. Um, it didn't look like it uh, overall, but they've got the same amount of units left. So, I mean, depends on the quality of units. Now, the Flamers here are going to do some work in the gateway, and I don't know why they decided, but they full-clustered the gateway, thinking it would be 
an easier option here. The IPG start to move in from uh, uh, Pongard as they start marching. That is it. A calf charge follows up from the march here, wiping out more of the units here and potentially helping. But the Flamers are what's going to be doing the work here. Slavs have Flamers as much as the NA boys have them here on the Pongard. Sledgemane, Polax v Porgax against Iron Beard and the any boys are definitely getting their cell position quite well here as a calf charge comes straight through the flamers is that going to be a bad thing for the NA boys is that going to be a bad thing you've got a good fight going on but hero wise they're, 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 they can't survive slavs are dying heroes they're down to five heroes alive here and they're taking the fight in the doorway as you can see gods is trying to survive there there's flamers and modal in there and for the brass show but that is hero deaths galore on the side of the attackers, Slavs. They're going to have to re get themselves sorted here. They've still got 15 trebs available. What Unit-wise, we're pretty even. There's a, still only a 20-unit difference here. 20-unit difference here. But any Gaucho has left the battle for now. Is that unintentional? Is that a kick? Did, he, did, he, did something happen? He is out of the game though. If he can't get back in, that might be a disconnect. We're down one man already extra. And that will be a wee bit of a swing in favour of Slavs here, if that's the case. That was a good push. It was a very interesting push. Lots of units dying on both sides. Uh, Sledgeman picks up Kuaku. That was one of the last kills more recently there. And now Slavs will start to make it down the tab right siege tower, down the stairwell. Looking, they need to get they need to get a, they need to get a supply point, right? You need a supply point here. You can't do nothing without a supply point. They've got set up units on both sides here. Are they looking to try and pinch the NA boys? Trying to b bait one of them out on one side to get the pinch in. Or is it going to be the NA boys that actually have the, the, the guys around the corner? As you can see, should have scabbed over there. Sledgeman and ASM tree with units away in the back there so they can pinch the, the push that comes down the stairwell. Trying to stay out of sight, out of mind, you know. Like, we're not all blind. We can see you, but, I mean... They might still think something's different. As you see, Slavs, like that whole glitch over in the wall there. You've got Slavs coming down this far right side. Now that they do that, the tab right side has been pushed. They're going down the stairs. The any boys are going to have to rotate and find ways around. So far, there's going to be battles on two fronts here. You're coming down the far right stage tower here that we can see on my right-hand side of the screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, we have a bigger cluster of the Slavs boys. It's all about who kills the heroes here. Takedown is down. That's in the 1-0. 2-0 here now towards the Slavs in favour. 15 versus 12 at this point in time. Heroes fights. It's another one there. It's another any boy that's down. They're down to 11 heroes alive. The fights are winning in their favour. They're down to 10. But it's 13 versus 10 now. As the any boys get a few kills in there as well. And we start to make a big difference here. As it happens, ASM3 falls down. There's only 9 heroes in the defence. One of them's just spawned back in here. But it's all about where they take this fight here. SKW falls. It's a hat trick for Watson, Longbow, doing a great job with his units. But yes, and Asianism fighting up the other shortbow in the bottom corner. You have got just heroes and heroes fighting. Like there's literally, it's mostly heroes fighting. The unit wise, they're pretty close in unit counts. But Watson is just picking people off. CK Eurohill, the shortbow with another kill there. He picks up a quad kill over this side here as well, and he built also gets out of there, Siki kicks, kills the other unit and that unit will die, Slav's push has failed uh, this time round and the heroes are all back, there's only two heroes alive for the push they have to wait and they have to go and get themselves set up, there's two minutes left the any boys have done some work here, they have done some work unit wise and unit kills that were 900 against 600 unit de uh, deaths here um, but so far any boys seem to be on top of this one. If you guys have put voting in the any boys side, you might be winning this one here. It's been good rotations, it's been good positioning, um, and they have killed killed a lot quicker. At one point, the push was going well from Slavs, but eventually just just it just whittled down. There's only one minute fifty five. They have to move fast now. SM3 Shooter Scav is going to go up the wall, instantly take the fight to them. That will be a time wasting scenario as well. You can whittle them down, take them down, and just get them really stuck up there where they've got nowhere to go within that minute. Because you have to got that, get, got, you've got to get it capped. I mean, there's only so much of that you can cap. Um, we've got another like 30 seconds to 40 seconds left on that cap point uh, to take B by the looks of it. 
and so far they're trying to push on two fronts once again in the main gateway and coming down the right side here general combo with his musket trying to deal some damage there and putting the cow traps and the musket bombs down as the javelins throw in calf charges coming in the front gate here Blamers are fl doing some work as well, but here comes the calf charge from the NA boys coming through with the armor gears as it wipes down. Adapt falls down, but it, oh, somebody's joint. Blame, two heroes, R Cap and B. The heroes are going to have to try and stay there as long as possible because if they cap B, they'll get it within time. Mr. Billy Dean, Sleshman come to protect it, but the heroes are in their favor. They've got double the amount of heroes left. And like I said, it took about 30 seconds to cap that potentially, but all the heroes are now going straight onto B. The calf comes in, the armagers will filter around, and the heroes will get wiped, and that's it. That was the chance that Slavs had. That was their only chance left there. We had run out of time, run out of units, and run out of lives. There was just no lives left. They were all dying. Gaucho left the battle for now. Once again, we are. Any boys, time. get the win on this one. 22 seconds left, and there's nothing that the boys can do. That is it. Blame is just fighting himself. Uh, he's he's probably about to die here to either Adapt or Sledge main. Maybe even Uriel, because Uriel is the long, short bow will just deal the damage. I was just kicking him to death. As Blame just goes like, nah, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. But that's it. That's GG from Pongard. Pongard. That was interesting. That was that was really good. ASM3, the MVP with the five, uh, seven hero kills, 132 unit kills. Urahil, eight hero kills. Look at him. He's just slaughtering people left, right, and center with that short ball. He's doing some work in that. 95 unit kills for him. Five hero kills from Siki. And then Watson with five hero kills is a longbow as well. Another fantastic effort. One of these difficult classes to play, but doing it really, really well. MVP on the attackers is Lazy Imperator. He gets the two hero kills, nine assists, uh, 129 unit kills. Overall, there wasn't really any hero that did a really good amount of hero killing. Apart from Bodyfest with three hero kills, and even then, not high enough to be in these battles. You see it here in the post-match analysis, the difference in unit and hero kills here. 51 to 18, like it's a completely different story. You need, you need to be, you can't be dying 51 times if you want to win a push. You can't, you can't get pushes wins that way. That just doesn't work. Um, but Pongard were great with the, the hero killing, using their advantage and their strength uh, in numbers at the right times, not over rotating, not getting called out by the double rotation of different units either side. And you know what? GG to you, Pongard. That's 1 0, and it was on the